I've got nothing better to do. I think Rassy just likes to make work for me. I'll set the new code to 45100. That should be easy enough to remember. Hey Doc, a security bot showed up with orders for me to place this grunt into the recovery freezer. I'm no cyber doc, but I know a plant job when I see one. I suppose you know they outlawed our grade cyber goodies after that fiasco back on Citadel Station. But hey, I just work here, right? Why is it that no one listens to me? The security protocols on the Xerxes system are clearly immature. Some idiot hacked into the primary data loop last night and made Xerxes sing Elvis Presley songs for three hours. I finally had to pull the voice subsystem offline. What would happen if someone with a real agenda got into him? I've got to restrict access to engineering until we can figure out what to do down there. It's just too hot. I don't know where all the hazard suits went, so I'm reduced to bringing down an armful of rad hypos. Those damn things always give me a headache. I got called up around 0430 to help unload the shuttle coming back from Tau City. Kerenskin was there alone. Jesus, what the hell happened to him? He lost most of his hair, and you could see these lumps on the side of his neck. And that smell. I told him he should go see Dr. Watts, but he told me to mind my own business. Well, la -dee da I've been unable to get in touch with Delacroix. This place is falling apart. Members of my team keep disappearing. The leaks in the venting shafts shorted out the primary access channel, and that means we'll all be on auxiliary power until we can get it back up. That means all the lifts are out. Marie, where the hell are you? Since we reached Tau Ceti, the lab monkeys have been acting strangely. Nurse Lesser picked one out of a cage to be brought in for vivisection, and the rest of them, I mean the entire group, stood up on their legs and howled. This wasn't just a random display. It was a protest. Since returning from the surface of Tau Ceti 5, the patient has experienced numerous novel phenomena, evidenced by inflammatory nodular growth and the presence of a large worm-like parasite. This morning, the parasite penetrated the subject's chest from the inside and attached one end of itself to the subject's forehead. If I remove it, it could kill the kid. If I leave it... <sighs> Final diagnosis beats the hell out of me. I'd love to refer this to Midorsky at CDC. But unfortunately, he's 67 trillion miles away. Whose idea was it to bring 150 chimpanzees on board anyway? The interest of science? What about the interest of hygiene? Does anybody have any idea how much crap 150 lab monkeys make in a day? The poor chimps, they come on board for the most historic mission of all time, and they end up being chopped into little pieces in the name of progress. Medical tells me they've replicated a whole bunch of rad hypos. I'm gonna pick those up and distribute them to the engineering staff unless anyone gets a better idea. Watts also asked me to check on the replicator in the crew lounge. He says it's a hacker's paradise. Watson died at 0240 of non-specific causes. Despite zero respiratory and brain function, the body is still displaying autonomous motor function, as does the parasite. At 0847, the patient even spoke to one of the nurses. Autopsy is set for 1630, and then we'll see what makes this Lazarus tick. I can't raise anybody down in engineering. With the lifts out, I'll need to get down there through the emergency conduit in the Psi Annex. I think the access code is in Watts' lab. We have picked
picked up a transmission from the surface of Tau City 5. I've been in negotiation with Captain Diego of the Rickenbacker, and after some coercion, he's agreed to go planetside as a joint venture. Imagine, this historic mission might even become more historic. First contact. And who is there to get exclusive rights to all media, patents, and land grants? Try optimum. Miri, I told you this would be worth it. and her stupid procedures. She's changed the code on the med side to sub-armory again. Now I've got to head back up to deck four to find out what it is. Somebody's gonna frag her, but good someday. Marie, I'm sorry I've been out of touch, but I've been working on that artifact Bayless brought back from Tau City 5. I've done a level three analysis on it. I think it's some kind of artificial intelligence. I've managed to pull an audio tag file out of its memory. I'll let you be the judge. Marie, I think it's speaking English. Sergeant Bronson and her security staff will. Delacroix was right. The ship was not ready for prime time. Okay, the automatic safety seals have shut due to the radiation leak in the tubes. I'm gonna head down to engineering control. I think I can use the fluidics monitoring computer to purge the tubes. Before 
before, I couldn't get rid of those jar heads from the Rickenbacker. And now I can't find one for love or money. That creepy OSA guy followed me around for two months until he got the hint. Now I tried to contact him to see if he knew what was going on, but all of a sudden, he won't return my mail. Anatoly, you must open up the planet to the scientific staff of this vessel. If there is something down there, it's bigger than Triop, it's bigger than the UNN, and it's bigger than you. And why have you and Diego shut off Deck 3? What's going on? God, get me out of here! I'm recording the lock to this room. Maybe that will hold them. I'm heading to cargo... to cargo bay 2. Come find me there. I'm not sure what's creeping me out worse. The hybrids with their pipes and shotguns? The berserk turrets are our supposed allies. I don't trust those UNM bastards. I've got to find Sanger. She knows the access code to Florida's control. I'm gonna make my way over to Cargo Bay 2 to find her. They aren't making this easy for us, are they? I miss you. I know it's stupid, but I do. I think I'll wallow in self-pity for an hour or so, and then write you again. Figures. I have to travel 67 trillion miles to meet a man. Once you're transferred to the Von Braun, everything will be better. I'll be better. I promise. Great. Someone's coming. Counting the seconds. Get a grip. 
recoded the door lock and engineering control to 15061. I think I'll be safe in here. Yeah, I'll be safe in here. Somebody's been tampering with the Xerxes unit. In the interest of keeping secrets from the powers that be, I've installed a back door to the fluidics control computer. To activate it, install hardware override 45M DEX in the system's monitoring unit in command control. You can find 45M DEX in auxiliary storage 5 in the coolant tubes. Key code 34760. They hit us six hours ago. Malone, the OSA spook, tried to take one of those things out with a pyrokinesis attack, but didn't even break stride. Then it unloaded both barrels into his stomach. Valzone said there's a weapons cache in one of the engine nacelles. Maybe I can find him and the others there. I've been contacted by some kind of artificial intelligence that wants to help me reclaim control of the Von Brandt from whomever, or whatever, is now in charge. I don't know where it came from, but I must confess, I'm happy it is here. where we'd be without Delacroix. This whole ship is falling apart. She's the only one who knows what from what. I saw her arguing with that creep Anatoly Koreskin or whatever his name is, and she was giving it to him, but good. But that freak job stares her straight in the eye and starts babbling about how she doesn't know the pleasure of the joyful unity or some such. Mamma mia, the clowns are running the circus. situation as of late. I've ordered security defense turrets placed at key locations. Yesterday one went off accidentally and critically injured Crewman Wells. However, somebody must have tampered with the Xerxes security subsystems, because now my technicians are unable to take them offline. Until we get to the bottom of this, I've ordered all security turrets recalled to storage. But now I can't get in touch with the team I sent out to do the recall. functioning turrets offline, and now Xerxes isn't even talking to us. Pollard thought of a workaround. By running bypass into central control, we can hack into the turrets locally and take control of them. However, that means walking right up to the little sons of bitches and hoping they don't go off. One thing is sure, I'm going to figure out what the hell happened here. I know you won't get this until after we've returned, but I've had to express how incredible I feel. we finally done it, made contact, and Muldoon and I have been selected to be involved in the initial work. Anatoly's one condition is that I tell no one aboard the ship. The creatures are remarkable. They're so helpless, I feel somehow compelled to protect them. It's a miraculous discovery. I've chosen Nurse Bloom as the new mother to our children. She is sweet and kind, healthy and a perfect match. She has a child of her own back on Earth. She knows what it is to care for the young. Ave Maria. If she only knew what the future held, she shared the joys of the many. What's going on? I thought it was weird when you asked me to send up 16 of my female staffers, but what have you done with them? I'm short-handed up here. Also, have you heard from what, Sanger or Polito? It's like everyone's gone on vacation and didn't bother to tell me. I found these schematics on Dr. Miller's desk. They're plans for the kind of cyber modification that's been illegal for 40 years. It's not like him. I was going to talk to him about it, and then I noticed the DNA sequence he spec for the prototype. It's mine. Marie, this is urgent. It seems the AI from Tau City has integrated its 
itself into the ship's computer. I picked up this fragment today. Insolent. Insolent. Not only that, but after I found the fragment, I returned to my lab to find it ransacked. I must see you. You're the only one I trust now. I have a theory about this AI. I tried to find information about the various rumors regarding the events on Citadel Station. I think I'm on... Toxin A will directly kill any ambulatory specimens. It should impact their communal mass and remove the residue I've observed growing on the walls and the lift shaft. But perhaps there is a more potent formula to be synthesized. There. The young ones are all aboard. Captain Diego and I have sealed off deck three. He and I are now of one mind. Our bodies are changing too. Sometimes it hurts terribly. And sometimes it is marvelous. Something wonderful is happening to me. What do you know? Bronson was right after all. I imagine I've got about an hour, but I'm tracking the, the transformations in the hope that the data might be useful to someone else. There are tumors on my leg and back. I can feel that thing inside me. Chewing growing fat. My theory is they need a living host to complete the transformation. Screw Diego, screw Karimskin, screw Tau Seti 5. If someone finds this, don't have any regrets about punching my clock. I was already gone. I believe the plans the many have for me are greater than I even imagined. The change is upon me that the path is more glorious than we imagined. It does not stop at a mere single mutation. The form I've been promised is more beautiful than I ever had. They tell me I will fall through the air and strike at the foes of our biomass with my mind. With our mind. My cup run is over. I know what Miller's up to. This morning, 
This morning I saw Erin Bloom. She was tending to some kind of eggs. And she had been changed in the most horrible, unnatural fashion. I can only think the worst for the rest of my staff. That son of a bitch. That son of a bitch. He won't get away with this. Keep moving. 
Get to the escape pods on the command deck. We'll take off, set the toaster to wake us up in 30 years, and we'll be back on Earth before you know. A toaster built for two, baby. That's our next stop. Sound good? So let's do it. I won't take any excuses. by security access cards. If anybody is found to be interfering with the normal operations of the ship or impedes the work of the security forces, they will be shot on the spot. If we can reprogram the SIM units and divert power to the transmitter on deck 5, my new friend will be able to regain control of the primary data loop from Xerxes. She, I eat, says that will let us use the bridge elevator and take control of the ship. I've authorized a change in the access code for the auxiliary weapons lockup in the crew quarters of Med Psy Deck to 98383. I won't have my own gear used against my men. There's no such thing as too cautious. inside of me with both hands. I'm almost done. Resist. This is bigger than my little life. The lives of my men and the lives of the people I was forced to kill. Resist. Humanity demands it. Resist. dedicated to the mission as you need to be. You will do your duty. The traitors and ops have still been unable to get the SIM unit back online. If the situation is not remedied by 0600, we shall recon in force and ensure its remedy. I've changed the weapon's lockup code to 13433. Fallen at 0500. Anything that gets in your way, human or not, kill without pause or remorse. responsibility to safeguard this ship and its crew. Screw Anatoly, screw Diego, and screw whatever poisonous influence has desecrated this vessel. I will not abandon my post or my charge. I don't feel right about any of this. But I still don't understand why you asked me to mess with the memory restoration on that grunt. Why didn't you want him to remember volunteering for this game? He did volunteer for the implants, right? Every email from you gets stranger and stranger. It's like, it's like you're not even the same person anymore. You listen to me, you little bitch. Either you disband that little toy army of yours, or some real military is gonna come down there and walk all over your reticops. You can't possibly understand what our mission is here in the glory of our purpose. If you do what we say, you might have a chance to see the glory of humanity. Comply or die, sister. It's that simple. I brought down the last of the sim units today. I am full of the glory of the many. Here comes Bronson. I am at peace. Good evening, Bronson. Have you come to... Turn that damn thing off. Miri, so far our work with the late model assassin cyborgs 
has gone remarkably well. I hope things with that son of a bitch Diego never come to that. But it is comforting to know we are not nearly as defenseless as the UNN stormtroopers might think. The only glitch we've encountered is with the upgraded laser rapiers. The poor things keep severing parts of themselves. We're trying to get the bugs fixed, but I know that bureaucrat is watching us. It's sad to see a man so haunted by the ghost of his father. His hatred for everything Triop represents is remarkable to behold. Okay, Delacroix. Yang and I have got the transmitter almost ready to go. Once it's up and running, we'll be able to warn Earth. Frank split up the transmitter code and uploaded it to a number of art display terminals throughout this deck. Just cycle through the art and you'll find a piece of the code. I don't think the worms will spot this. I don't figure they got much of an interest in the great masters. The eggs we found near the observation chambers are different from the ones in Hydro. They release some kind of disgusting flying swarming thingies. Bullets don't do anything. Bullets, for Christ's sake. I never even fired a gun before this morning. Listen, there's one escape pod Xerxes didn't eject, but it's busted. I meant to it functional, but I don't know how long it can stay that way. Make it there, Tommy, with or without me. If I don't get there, I want you to let him go. You understand me? Take it and go. So close to Rebecca, it's killing me. I'm spending some time with crew members who said they saw her. They told me to help me find her if I help them set up this transmitter. They're set on saving the Earth. I just want Rebecca. Then I'll take care of the Earth. Taylor sent some email this morning indicating he found some kind of artifact that could infect the worms or the virus. However, if you manipulated the thing, it would introduce a toxin into the human bloodstream that could kill in minutes. Unfortunately, Taylor found this out the hard way. He died right after he sent the message. Now, if we can only locate his body, we might find that artifact. The shunt has been online for two hours. Go tell Cortez in the crew section to come out and turn on that transmitter. If this message doesn't reach you soon, they may be able to interfere with the transmission from the bridge. Tell your team they may not be able to play. We were down on the basketball court when the damn power went out. Again. Irony is we were ahead for the first time in weeks. Well, we won't be the lapdogs of the Von Braun anymore. Okay, I got the art terminals wired up to display the fragmented dish alignment for the transmitter. I've also rigged up the tower to set off a security alert in case somebody else tries to tamper with it. I'm headed there right now to start the transmission. Who's that? Juan? Marie? The lights near the basketball court keep fritzing out. I think the humidity from the pool next door is a real problem. If it happens when I'm not there, try resetting the circuit from the breaker by the pool. You think someone needs to call a tech? I don't know what's going on around here, and I don't want to know. I'm not here for the glory of the stupid company. I'm just supposed to make sure the replicators are running. And now people are dying. I've got to turn this ship around and go home. God, get me the hell out of this place. Mon petit, there is something you should know about. I have received information from some form of artificial intelligence that is calling itself Shodan. Yes, Shodan. Wherever this intelligence actually came from, it has a terrible grudge against these analeds and has saved my life more than once. Shodan has told me that there is a UNN operative aboard the ship, armed to the hilt and equipped with R-grade cyber implants. Strange bedfellows, eh? Stay out of the mall if you can. It crawls. What's wrong with people?
things go to hell and they think they can just walk over the rules. I'm not opposed to a little vice now and then, but outright theft. Hey, what are you doing over there? Get away from that replicator, you son of a... Amazing. All a woman, real woman. You gotta love technology. But I must have left all my nanites in her room, in the sensual sim center. What a maroon. I've just killed some kind of, some kind of spider. I don't know, but it bit me. And now I'm sick. I'm down to my last med hypo. Come quick, Tommy. Come quick. about land grants, forget about media, forget about patents. What we found on Tau City will change everything. I've instructed the Von Braun to change course and return to Earth. Captain Diego is in complete accord with this decision. I know that you are skeptical by nature, Miri, but I know once you embrace our discovery, you and the entire board will come over to our way of thinking. for me. 
I don't know what I'm going to do. And Bronson is starting to make a lot of noise. You're the senior flight officer. You have to act. I would. I knew what the hell was going on. I got an email from Kerenska this morning saying he was coming up for an inspection. And when he arrived, it was something revolting. It was Anatoly, but it wasn't. At the same time, it seemed beautiful, and I felt like part of it. He sang to us, all of us, and we felt like one of many. Paranoia has struck. Somebody has changed the access codes to the security station and the officer's quarters, and now we can't get the key to shuttle control. I think Myers is the likely suspect. All that guy thinks about is conspiracy theories and naked girls.
and here's the thing. It's made of worms. It even fires worms. But it stings like you wouldn't believe. We arrived planetside via the shuttle on June 15th at 0800 hours. Kerenchkin was the first one out the door. They were even bothering to do a level B hazard suit exam. Not wanting to let that little tryup suit get a head start, Diego went right after him. I thought it was crazy, sending the senior officers of the Rickenbacker down to the surface of an uncharted body. But both those idiots were going to get all the glory for the UNN and try up they could. Damn. Time for inspection. More later. The eggs were lying in a semicircle in the middle of what looked like a crash crater. There were hundreds of those things. Hundreds. And as we got closer, you could hear them. Not the eggs. The things inside them. It was, it was like music. I was scared out of my mind. But that music... All I wanted to do was see those things up close. Find out their secrets. After a couple of hours, it was, it was like being on a bender. Long periods that you couldn't remember. One minute we were in that crater. And the next minute we were loading up the shuttle with the eggs. I remember hearing that idiot Karenchkin calling the Von Braun and ordering them to clear off the entire hydroponics deck. Diego seemed to think this was strange and said, Are you crazy, Anatoly? And Karenchkin smiled and said back to him, Oh, Captain, we are not Anatoly. In order to reverse the gravitronic generators, I need to get into nacelle B. In order to get into the nacelle, I need my damn access card. But I left it on the opposite side of the hull breach. Wait a minute. If I can extend the auxiliary support struts, I could... If they've survived the blast, that is. For some reason, they couldn't get a hold of my mind the way they could the rest. So when I found the remains of the data wafer near the crater back on Tau Ceti, I didn't say a word. I just slipped it into my belt and thought, Dr. Polito will know what to do with this. I think power was. What was my concept of joy? How empty life must have been. As I merge my body with the biomass, I begin to sense the borders of rapture. The worms are everywhere. Captain Diego is the one who let them in. Nobody knows who to trust anymore. Nobody's even sure who's human anymore. I've blown off the access ladders in the torpedo room to restrict access to pod 2. Let's hope that holds them back. As long as we're alive and drawing a paycheck from the Navy, those bastards are not getting the rig marker. Simpson, Malone, Shandera, and Perez are dead. At least those are the ones we know for sure. Those bastards sabotaged the Mison acceleration coil. They blew out the entire driver core six subdecks. From what I can tell, somebody tapped the frequency resonator to refract human sized movements. The overload of all those people moving around must have blown the resonator. We set up a magnetic shield and the ship's still functional. Barely. I've quarantined the entrance to pod two. The secondary coil is right there and I don't know how thorough the son of a bitch did this was. Until I can reverse the gravitronic generators, we're effectively cut off from pod two. Wozchak's email said the only way to do that is by resetting the power grid from the access station in engine cell B. Of course, he didn't volunteer to do it himself. What a goddamn mess. Citadel Station is out of the bottle, and I am the cause. I can't bear to be Pandora, and I'm not brave enough to wait around and see the death and misery I have caused. This is my last transmission, my friend. Be careful. I think Shodan has plans for you. Those worms were a cancer in my body, so I had the autodoc cut it out. Think they're gonna let you blow up the Von Braun? The many will never allow it. But I've got something to help you. It's in my quarters. You'll find the access card on my body. The fight to them, soldier. And remember, 
blocked it out, half conscious most of the time. I keep remembering the part from Pinocchio, you know, where the old man goes looking for the puppet inside the whale. Except I don't think anyone's coming in here to save me. Now I'm convinced that this, many as it calls itself, indeed has a centralized nervous system, which means it would have to have some kind of centralized control. To this end, I've gathered as many weapons as I could and stashed them in caches. One of the beasts discovered a cache and apparently mistook it for food. It simply brought it into the crunching room. The arterial passageways are blocked by some kind of sphincter. I follow the nerves that thread it out of the walls from the blockage. They lead to a pair of nerve clusters. When the passageway is open, the cluster seems to contract. Conversely, I wonder if I was able to destroy both clusters. It would open the blockage permanently. I'm anxious to see the rest of this beast. There's some kind of horrible grinding noise coming from the next area. It sounds like chewing. I think I think I know what's going to happen here. This is some kind of digestive tract of a very, very large animal. I go back and forth between being fascinated and terrified. The creatures are remarkable discovery. I wish I could only live long enough to learn more. Five minutes ago, one of those large, burly creatures dragged Claudette towards the sound of the grinding. Apparently, the animal uses smaller creatures to help move food along its digestive tract. I tried to help Claudette, but it wasn't even a contest. And I'm ashamed to admit, I judge that seeing what happened to her was a vital element of my studies here. I imagine I won't have the opportunity to record any observations when it comes my turn. While I don't understand the analyte life cycle fully, it's clearly extremely diverse. The eggs produce either a male or a female spore. The male, the drones, are wasp-like creatures. The female are worm-like analytes that seek out a host to infect. Following infection, the host begins to transform into a human analyte hybrid. From that point, the life form can take numerous paths. I believe this path is determined by the mini itself. The creatures have communicated their need to grow the biomass, so I imagine that biological material is their primary resource. Therefore, each path has costs and benefits. The proto-arachnid is extremely quick and potentially relatively cheap in biomass. The hulking, fleshy ones are powerful, but are clearly a larger investment. I've observed only one example of the floating organisms. The only comfort is that the more dangerous organisms are quite costly to produce, limiting their numbers. Besides the parasitic behavior evidenced in the life cycle of the human analyte hybrids, it's becoming clear to me that Shodan has bred the many to use humans for other purposes. First of all, the many clearly has the capability to convert human flesh to energy. It can eat us, but it can also directly use us in the creation of its egg pods. Corpses are fed into some kind of tubular structure, and eggs are birthed through a nearby tube. I've been unable to determine whether the organism is directly converting the corpses into egg structures or not, but it's clear that there's some connection between the nutrient pool we provide and the eggs that are being produced. years of evolution, they have been able to conquer this starship, mankind's mightiest creation. Where were we after 40 years of evolution? What swamp were we swimming around in, single-celled and mindless? What if Shodan's creations are superior to us? What will they become in a million years, in 10 million years? What's clear is that Shodan shouldn't be allowed to play God. She's far too good at it.
taken away now. It's my turn. I'm being dragged into some kind of chamber. The ceiling is aligned with a, a number of panels, uh, bristling with what appear to be uh, st stalactites or, or teeth. The creature's put me down now. He's leaving. I might have spared. What's going on? It's, it's dark in here. I, I can hear the moans of someone. Claudette? Is that you? Uh, I seem to have stepped into something soft. S slippery. I'm starting to... Receiving this, I am already dead. When I realized Shodan had betrayed me, I integrated these comments into her primary data loop. Shodan has exploited the warping capability of the Von Braun's faster than light device for her own purposes. The device works by altering space around the ship to fairly arbitrary specifications. Shodan has altered it to her specifications. The effect is rather small now, but spreads with alarming speed. Soon it will reach Earth. You are in her world now, her memories, and her rules. Watch your back. You are near the seat of Shodan's power. You will probably not be able to defeat her, but there is no choice. Remember to focus on your strengths. She will be vulnerable to your weaponry and your psionic powers. I've been able to introduce some assistance in the form of virtual terminals that you can hack into. They should help you defeat the monster. You must understand the stakes here. If Shodan is left to continue, her reality will completely assimilate ours. Space will become cyberspace, and Shodan's whims will become reality. You are not alone here. Shodan has spawned her own versions of the Von Braun's horrors. Remember, they are virtual, they are not real. Do not assume anything about their strengths or weaknesses.